good decision making is an important aspect that you need to learn in order to be a good player. So in this video, you're going to be faced with multiple real match situations and you're going to have 10 seconds to answer each choice correctly. So to start off the match, you can see that I'm being approached by my neighbor and he's bridging to a spot where he's going to have high ground on me. So what I do is I build up as well to be able to keep high ground on him, which gives me the advantage. Either I attack him while he's at my base or I bait him to chase me to his base. What would you do? If you chose to bait him, then you are correct. That's because if I force him to chase me, I give myself a chance to lead him away from my bed, but also be able to break his bed and potentially kill him, which I successfully did and I got away with it. Over here, I ran into my base to buy leather armor and a stone sword, and I noticed that the guy who I broke his bed was making his way over to me. So would you stay in the base and he wouldn't see what armor and sword you have, or get out of the base and let him see what you have? If you pick stay in the base, then you are right. If he doesn't know what you have and you're pretty sure he doesn't have good armor or a good sword, then you can wait till he blindly attacks you, then kill him just like I did over here. He tried escaping, but it was too late. But right afterwards, I was being approached by another player who most likely would have had the same loot as me or better. So now would you stay in the base or would you get out and get high ground? If you picked high ground, you are correct, because if he fights me in my base, it's gonna be a 50-50 chance of winning, and it's too risky. So getting high ground would allow you to drop down on the player, allowing for potential combo, just like I did over here. In this clip, I approached this player who was trying to break my bed, and we both have the same armor and sword. I started attacking, but I realized it's too risky to take the fight, and I started running. I started getting chased, and I had to make a decision, either turn around and fight, or run and use the bridge. If you pick the bridge option, then you are right. As I jump on the bridge, if I quickly build a wall right before they jump, I can make them fall into the void and it successfully worked. If you're interested in learning these tricks, check out my other videos where I show it to you guys if you haven't seen them already. The same player who I got with the block trick started chasing me. So I quickly went in my base to buy balloons and I dealt some damage to him. I noticed that another player who had better armor than us started coming over. Now would you stay on the same bridge as him and hope he dashes past you or jump to the bridge on the right and escape? If you pick to jump on the other bridge, then you're right. He dashed by with his Uzi kit and fought the other player instead. The other player still wanted to kill me, but as I built up, they also built up and I hit them into the void and ran to the middle. I was in the middle and had mid control, but I noticed that a player left his bed in the open and went to the base next to it. I have a diamond sword and enough blocks. Would you keep mid control or try to break his bed? If you pick to try to break his bed, then you are correct. Getting rid of a player's bed makes you one step closer to end the match and potentially win. As I broke his bed, he started to run back, but I quickly broke his bed and easily killed him because of my diamond sword advantage. Over here, I'm out the middle with all this in my inventory, and I'm being approached by this player. They have a bow, and they try to get extra hits off me so that they can kill me easier. Would you build a protective wall and wait till they attack you or charge at them to attack them? If you chose to build a protective wall, then you are correct. Mindlessly charging at them would put me in the open and allow the player to get extra hits on me. I waited to get attacked first and surprised the attacker with my diamond sword. And then I sent them straight to the void, forcing them to use their balloons. I then went straight for their bed and I broke it. While I was in a base, I realized that I had six balloons, a diamond sword, and seven emeralds left over. What would you do? Try to get one more emerald for diamond armor or would you buy a crossbow now? If 
you picked buying a crossbow, then it was a good choice because a crossbow can allow you to deal damage from far and always continue to put pressure on your opponent. I was at the middle and I spotted my opponent. He appeared to be about to bridge over to the middle. In this situation, would you start shooting at your opponent to deal early damage or would you wait till they start bridging to shoot at your opponent? If you pick to wait till they bridge, then you are correct. I took a shot while they were on the bridge and I hit them off the map. I realized that the player had balloons and I put my aim to the test and shot my opponent twice. And from there, I realized that they won't be coming back up. But because I also like taking risks and having fun, I decided to drop down anyways, hit the player one last time, and I easily ended the match. For the second match analysis, I start off by bridging to my opponent and I damage three blocks till they're one hit. I then wait for the player to jump, but they didn't want to, so I got more blocks and I finished the bridge. He then chased me and I broke a block, causing him to fall and allowing me to easily break his bed. He respawned and now we are faced with a question. Would you run back to your base to gear up or attack him now? If you've picked to attack him now, you are correct. When you have an option to get rid of a player, always take that opportunity because it increases your chances of winning the match. Over here, I had mid control and some emeralds. And then I'm approached by a player. He had weaker armor than me, so what would you do? Would you get rid of him now or would you run back to keep your emeralds safe? Now, if you pick getting rid of him, then you are right, because if he's at the middle, he can also get emeralds, and when I have better loot than him, I should be able to either kill him or chase him away. This player who had leather armor came and broke my bed. He then built up before I had a chance to kill him. I ran back inside the base. Would you buy a bow or a jade hammer? If you pick to buy a bow, then you are correct because a bow can allow me to deal damage to him, even if he isn't close to me, and it's more effective if he doesn't have good armor. This is why I was able to kill him, and as long as you can hit your shots, you will be fine. For some reason, this person thought it was a good idea to spend the match building the Great Wall of China around his base. So what I did to stay safe in case he was hiding a trap was to build up, and I noticed that he had no bed defense, and I had a good axe and a good sword. Would you drop down to break his bed, or would you use a jade hammer to drop down and break his bed? If you picked using the jade hammer then you are correct. In case you didn't know, using the jade hammer from height and keeping it equipped will negate fall damage giving you a higher chance of winning the fight. And for this last clip, it's pretty simple and this guy had no chance. He had leather armor and he was afk so all I did was kill him, break his bed and kill him again. And that leads us to the end. If you learned something and enjoy these types of videos then drop a like and subscribe. Also feel free to comment any future video ideas that you'd like to see along with the amount of questions that you got correct. And yeah, have a good day or night. If you want to learn some block tricks then click over here.